Uh, good afternoon. My name is Stan Nee, and I'm uh, here to speak in opposition to House Bill 308 uh, to convey the importance of maintaining Texas law that we presently have prohibiting concealed handguns in both public and private hospitals, clinics, and behavioral health and medical facilities. I have served uh, for five years as director of security at Seton Healthcare Family, a network of 11 hospitals and ambulatory sites throughout Central Texas, including a Level 1 Trauma Children's Hospital, and a Level 1 Trauma Medical Center. I oversee 105 unarmed security officers and over 125 commissioned police officers working part-time in our facilities. I want to specify these officers are off-duty officers that we hire at our facilities. My responsibility is to plan and address all safety and security concerns in our health care network. Prior to my work at Seton, I spent over 39 years in law enforcement, including 18 years as a chief of police in three cities, the last nine years as chief of police in the city of Austin. The proposed repeal of the current Texas law prohibiting licensed handgun holders from carrying a handgun on the premises of a private hospital, I believe will have a negative effect on the care we provide and the overall health of the patients we serve. At Seton, our mission is to care for and improve the quality of health of those we serve. This means all of our facilities are designed as healing, safe environments, and the number one role of our security force is to ensure these environments remain calm and secure so that we allow for medical treatment to move forward. Oftentimes, when a patient and their family arrive at one of our facilities, they are in acute crisis. Not only do they come to us with medical needs, but they are often in a fragile state, both mentally and emotionally, because of their ailment. When faced with pain and illness, out of their control, level-headed, calm people can often become irrational and volatile in a matter of seconds. The job of, ho of hospital security is to anticipate these scenarios and respond quickly to ensure the safety of the patient, family, hospital staff, and other patients and visitors. In our line of work, it is not a matter of if something will happen. It is often a matter of when, where, and how. During the first three months of this year alone, Seton had 571 codes called on patients and visitors disrupting or displaying abusive, assaultive behavior. All of these intense situations required highly trained security officers or on-duty Seton police to keep the peace. In preparation for violent situations that will happen at our facility, Seton Security prohibits all weapons, including guns and knives, in our hospital and ambulatory facilities. We train our officers and associates on how to anticipate and respond to an active shooter situation or other potential violent situations, practice evidence-based de-escalation method to defuse combative patients and visitors, and train our officers to physically restrain violent persons when necessary. We also maintain policies and procedures to identify and address safety and security risks. The bro prohibition of handguns in our facilities ensures that hospital security can maintain peace and order. Without a weapon, even the most aggressive and angry person can be controlled. Allowing concealed handguns in our facility diminishes our ability to anticipate and prevent violence in our facilities. I'd like to give you an example. Recently, at the University Medical Center Brackenridge, <clears throat> Central Texas only level one trauma center, we had a, uh, a multiple shooting uh, with both the victims and the suspects sent to Brackenridge for treatment. Quickly, the lobby, which was already crowded with patients waiting to get into the emergency room for treatment, was flooded with families from both the victims and the witness, uh, victims and the shooters as well as friends of both the victims and the shooters. We had security on duty. We maintained the peace and quiet of that operation and allowed the hospital to continue serving the public that was there. The approach that we would have had to have taken had we allowed concealed weapons in that facility would have been entirely different and would have been, I think, harmful to creating a calm and peaceful atmosphere. I realize the difficult decision you face when dealing with the future of this bill. 
I think uh, it's clear listening today to the various comments with regarding concealed handgun permits. However, I strongly urge you to consider to maintain the Texas law prohibiting concealed handguns in public and private hospitals and medical facilities as a key pillar in the safety net medical system of Texas, Seton is responsible for promoting the health and well-being of all. The allowance of concealed handguns in our facility jeopardizes, I believe, the life-saving nature of our work and endangers the livelihood of Texans when they are at their most vulnerable state. Thank you for your time and thank you for all you do uh, for Texas and it's been a very interesting day listening to the activities here. Are there any questions? Um, Mr. Nee, I actually have a quick question. So you're in charge of security for the Seton? Yes, I am. Hospital? Okay. Um, what, do you, what would you say to people who would say, since this bill, as I understand it, just deals with concealed, the, uh, the existing concealed handgun regime we have now doesn't deal with open, even though people believe that that's coming, that we're dealing with concealed right now. Um, what would you say to people who would say, well, someone who had criminal intent or was intent on doing something bad at one of these hospitals is not going to follow the, the law we have now? So how does the concealed handgun law and prohibiting folks from coming to the hospital to have a, from bringing a weapon, how does that solve or stop someone who has bad intentions un, under the current regime? Well, first, you educate the public, and that, and you educate the public by having adequate signage that, that tells people you cannot bring a weapon into this uh, facility. Secondly, at our trauma center, after a homicide that occurred outside the ED on January 1st last year, we, after hours, after visiting from 9 to 5, operate a metal detector system so that people have to pass through there in order to get into the hospital and the ED is the only entrance into that hospital after 9 o'clock. Every one of our other 10 hospitals, the officers have uh, wands, the portable wands such as what DPS has here, so that if somebody comes into the facility and they believe that there is a threat or we receive information that there's a threat on the way, uh, we have the ability to just begin checking people uh, for weaponry. Okay. Um, Representative White, question? Um, did you say um, for whether you're on for or against, for the record? I'm opposed to uh, uh, 308. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you very much.